Hi there, um, Matt Carter here with another video tutorial for you guys. Um, you probably all have noticed that um, Night Cafe has released the start image option in Stable Diffusion. So I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you several different ways of using it and some just basic tips on the best way to get the best out of it. So, um, this is an initialize image, so it uses the image to create, it uses your start image to create the picture. It's not like some of the other um, options out there where it uses an image and just generally uses that. This can be very specific. So what we'll do is, I'll show you a couple of ways of using it. So the first way you could use it is, let's just see if we can find a random, right, a desert ghost town. So the first way you could use it is having a prompt already, then going into a, um, what was that? What was it again? Ghost town, right. So, and then finding a picture to match your prompt. Let's see if it's got anything in here for a ghost town. <laughs> right. Uh, interesting. Let's just, that could be quite interesting there. So, so now we've got, right, let's just imagine. Um, so we've got ghost town and we've got this, it's kind of in the desert, it's town. So again, it's your prompts are um, you've got to be careful, especially with this one. If you do it, let's let's see what happens if we do a hundred and zero, and we'll just leave it basically. At, I'll stick. I'll just stick a couple of random presets in so you can see what happens. Ghost town. Let's go for sinister. Right. We'll just leave it at that, and we'll just do the one image, everything basic. Right. Let's have a look. See what we got. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. So, um, what you can also do now, because of the start image, you can evolve it. You didn't used to be able to evolve in stable. So you can come back in, use this, go, right, okay, it's not bad. What else can we do? Let's see if, and again, I'm just using random stuff here just to show you. And But what we can do is change the prompt and we can think, right, I want a wee bit of, I want to change it up a bit. So I'm going to do this. And let's maybe change this and bump it up to low res. Right, let's see what happens. So, after that little evolve, now that's getting, that's pretty cool. I have to say, I like that a lot. So as you can see, there's um, endless possibilities just starting with that. So what else can you do? So you can start with an image. So say, let's see if I've got any images in here that I can use. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Like I can't remember the name of that. Ugh, it's been too long since I watched that. I can't be bothered searching for it. So let's just find something that's usable. Let's use a daft dog. Oh, right, let's have a bit of crack then. That's me looking. Don't know. I must have. I look pretty serious for some reason. Right. So a wonderfully handsome man, <laughs> and I'm looking. Um, a man, a symmetrical face, looking grumpy, blue top, let's put blue t-shirt, um, uh, background is a nebula, And let's just put some random modifiers in. Go for cosmic. Cosmic. Cosmic was one meter right. Okay. Bang bang. And uh, right. Leave it at that. And let's see if I can make it cartoony. So Studio uh, Art by Studio Ghibli and Tim Burton. Right. Let's see. So. We'll go for Christ, right? Let's go. I'm just gonna leave it. No, I'll put it up about eighty twenty. Let's see what happens. And I'll pop the runtime up. Let's see. 
Right, here we go. Um, interesting. So, if you look at this, it depends what way you look at it. You know, I could now use this for building characters. You know, I've got like, I don't know what that is. That's kind of mental. Um, that's kind of got the universe and that behind it, and it's obviously a weird cartoon character. That's pretty good. Handsome devil. What the... So, you see... So you can do this with them, and remember, now let me just duplicate it to give you a couple of examples. So I'll duplicate it, but this time, um, let's bring it down a wee bit. In fact, let's do something crazy. Let's try that, see what happens. And I'll bump it up to low res. Okay, well hey, check this out. Now, I'm, like, I don't know about you, but I love this stuff, man. Look at that. So that started out as a picture of me. That, that there is there's just, that's sublime. I think that's absolutely mental. Um, that's That'll be me when um, uh, I get reborn in one of the 31 planes of existence up in the higher realms in the Buddhist um, philosophy. That, is odd. They're, they're all odd, but I think they're brilliant. Now, think about what's happening here. The AI has taken a picture of me, it's looked at the instructions I've given it, and it's basically tried to try to mould it onto the picture of me. And clearly, it's it takes some artistic um, um, liabilities, I suppose. It, it kind of goes off on its own. However, Look at that, it's brilliant. However, of course it goes on its own because we told it to do that. Overall prompt weight zero, noise weight 100. So by doing that, we've told it to go off and do whatever it likes, to really go for it. So let's try um, let's try being a wee bit more, if we were trying to be a wee bit more serious um, and, and trying to maybe um, not completely go over the top um, with the images. Now... This is getting up to 10 minutes. I want these videos to be under 10 minutes, so I'll do a quick one with this. So let's just do a 50-50. And I'll maybe take out... Um, uh, Tim Burton. And I'll put Art by Studio and Pixar. Let's say I'm hoping to get some sort of cartoon character. Um, let's see what happens. So there you go again. You know, I've still got the cartoony character. I've still got the blue top. The 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 my nebula is in the back. It's not quite as far away from the other ones, I guess. But um, we'll take we'll take a look at something a bit more serious in the next video. So um, thanks for watching this. This is part one. Again, check out the comment, uh, the description and stuff for your discount at Night Cafe, and join the Discord. Come and join my Discord, and we can all work this out together. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.